oh my goodness girl your dreams are so inspiring and prophetic i definitely want to help nurture that for you so it can keep growing what's up unplug forever what's up fam positive energy in this scope we, we vibrate love in these scopes um we encourage each other in these scopes so yeah what's up christine this is your first day on periscope huh okay i'm following you what's up moses moses <laughs> You think so? Okay, that's interesting. Well, we're here to have an open conversation, so I'm up for debate. <laughs> I'm blessed. I'm blessed. What's up, Alexi? Hi, Lexi. Hi, checkmate. Okay, so we got some late late nighters. All right. I guess we can welcome some new people. So let me tell you what's popping. Oh, you think he crazy too? Okay, checkmate. All right, I got you. I just followed you too. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can um, change anybody's mind, right? Okay. My family is asleep. My husband, my babies are asleep. So I got to try to be quiet. I am so loud when I'm, I get excited when I talk to y'all, right? So anyway, so I might have to um, whisper. Yeah, Moses, this, I'm trying to make sure I follow you too, bro. Okay. Yeah, we vibrate love and positivity on this scope always and information okay so check this out right this is what you all have to realize first of all Kanye West like many people he grew up in poverty he grew up in the hood he had a gift and he wanted an opportunity the number one thing with black men Hispanic men melanated men Caucasians too, but I'm addressing the people who um, I can relate to, okay? You all want to bless your mothers. Like men who, um, like you all love your mothers. I, I just cherish how some men love their mothers. Kanye was one of those people, right? Okay. Yeah, he from the suburbs, but he, I wouldn't say he grew up with Kardashian money basically is what I'm saying okay he, he did increase his tax bracket okay so you have okay okay I got you so you have an increase because I don't do idolatry so when I get through saying what I'm saying it might make a little sense to you and you might be shocked but he has some hood ways he he wasn't in the five percentile tax bracket he had a mom whom he seemed to have adored. Um, men and women, we can have many issues, but sometimes the one thing we get right is our love for our parents. And I believe that he had that for her. Kanye did not have a spiritual understanding of spiritual elements, elemental spirits. He didn't understand that when he got in the music industry, when he began to get in contracts, that are so extensive. You have to have lawyers go over the contracts with you. That's how extensive they are. Words are created for life or for death. So sometimes when you get in a contract, it could be with a corporation, music industry, athletics, um, Hollywood. Satan has his hands in every exchange of money on earth, including the church. Okay? He has like literally defiled everything in the world. So imagine you coming in and you're blindsided. Next thing you know, you get a phone call. Your mom's dead. You're like, what? I just got through getting my mom. My mom wanted a tummy tuck. You know I messed up her tummy. You know, her boobs sagging. So, I'm, man, I'm in a new tax break. I'm finna bless my mom. He, he thought that he was doing something nice for her, something she wanted. My mom told me, Camson, you, you get into a new tax bracket like that, please give me a new mommy makeover. <laughs> so he did that. But he didn't understand that he was going to have to trade something. You can't, you can't have access to, to riches in this world and not have to trade something. 
This is why you see the strange murders happen like centered around Derrick Rose. And I can go down the list of the NBA players. Every time they get these major contracts, something very terrible happens to take the life of someone close to them. And it's often a parent or children. Okay, because the more innocent the blood, the more it's worth in the occult realm. We have to remember that just because me and you don't eat flesh, drink blood, and worship um, Lucifer doesn't mean that the people who rule these companies, corporations, and the uh, ruling class elite, that's what they do. Okay? So when you get into this situation and you lose the one thing that you cherish the most, you do go crazy. So sanity, uh, but is he making some sense? Definitely. I said that to say this. Once you are in contract like that and you have sold your soul, you carry guilt. I'm struggle try to Moses. That that was confirmation. Yeah, Ahaya has been telling me that, so that's confirmation. Thank you so much. I got some big things in the works for y'all. Y'all have no clue. Just keep sticking with me, hanging with me, and I promise you won't regret it. I'm getting PDFs ready. I'm getting my website ready. So I got y'all. Like, I'm ready to go out into the world and share this, you know? So check this out. You get into this contract. Now, all of a sudden, every time you walk past a mirror, you see demons. You see demons behind you, around you, and in you. You go to meetings. You see demons. You go to the meeting to talk about the release of your album. And you know the strange things in the meeting. You can't go tell anybody. He can't tell anybody. So yes, he, he has some sanity issues going on. Just like many other celebrities. Many other famous people. Okay? But this is what you have to trade in order to have what belongs to Lucifer. Temporarily. Lucifer told Yeshia, if you bow down and worship me, I will give you all of this. So everything belongs to him right now. It does not belong to Ahaya. This world is ruled by him. He is the prince of the air. So what's happening with Kanye? After you have children, something begins to shift and change in you. I believe that his mother's spirit has been speaking to him. And it has compelled him to not sit back and be quiet, even at the risk of death and even at the risk of being called crazy. He knows what we're going to say. He knows what most people are going to say about him. He knows how people are going to react, but he keeps doing it anyway. Why? Because he don't care. He's more concerned with living truth, walking in truth than he is how people are going to react to what he say. So Pete, this. The Taylor Swift situation. He was taken up for Beyonce. He felt like her album was the best. This this dude just speaking his mind. And I, I respect him for speaking his mind. Because so many people don't. We have become beta fied bitches. When we don't speak how we really feel. Especially those of us who have been emasculated. Emasculated by the church. Emasculated by hip hop. Emasculated by the justice system. When your baby mama take you to court. You're being emasculated. There's a spirit there in the country. In this land of America. That emasculates men. Exactly. So this is what he been saying. He said that. The music that's on the radio was BS. That's the only music that get airplay. He's sick of it. He called out all these little young dudes and he right. You know what I'm saying? He said that um, he had been hitting up Jay-Z and him and they had not been returning none of his calls or messages or nothing. He was basically like, what's up with that? You know? Now, I'm going to tell y'all a backstory on what I received through Revelation. So his issue is with the music industry. His issue is he's sick of the BS. And he's just like, I'm finna expose everybody. So as he started coming out, just talking about the BS that many of us already know about, right? He begins to say, you know, Beyonce, he was like, you know, I took up for you. And and you now you don't want nothing to do with me? Because Beyonce had basically said, you know, that um, the only way she would do a concert is if this and this and this and whatever it was, it didn't include Kanye. Basically, I don't want nothing to do with him. 
So see, Beyonce and her husband, of course, they're going to be in one accord. They're a power couple. They they can't risk looking bad. There's too much money weighing on them looking, looking a certain way. Them folks ain't in love. <laughs> That's about money. It's all about the mighty dollar. Kanye's sick of it, and he's exposing it. That's why he created a whole clothing line that looked like clothes that slaves wore and selling it for thousands of dollars just to give a F you to the ruling elites. He's pissed. He's pissed that he lost his mama. He's pissed that he didn't know that Freemasonry ruled hip hop, ruled the whole industry, and that the only way you climb is to be initiated and to come under someone. Jay-Z is the person Kanye was assigned to when he came into the industry. Jay-Z was the one that was supposed to initiate him. He is, he is under Jay-Z. So he butthurt about the fact that Jay-Z then cut him off. But one thing about Jay-Z, Jay-Z a house nigga. Jay-Z go do as the Zionist Jew tell him to do. So because Kanye is such a, a rebellious renegade type, Jay-Z don't want to be associated with that because he don't want that to mess up his money. Jay-Z spent a lot of time with Obama, so Jay-Z also knows about Agenda 21. He knows about martial law. He knows about Jade Ham. He knows about all the military equipment, all the guns, artillery, armored trucks that has been ordered sitting right outside of Chicago, sitting right outside of Atlanta, sitting right outside of New York, Dallas, Memphis, the list goes on and on. He is on the inside. He knows these things. And in order for him to prepare, he needs to have enough money to move his, his folks to Mars if need be. So Jay-Z mind on his money. He ain't let nothing mess it up. He don't care about no brotherhood. He ain't no brother's keeper. Man, y'all better check Jay's dirt. I don't even want to go too deep into it, but I know I'm covered by the blood of Yeshaya, so I ain't worried about nobody doing nothing to me. But there's a place and a time for everything. I'm just going to say this. There was rumored to be a woman pregnant by Jay-Z. She was going to come out and say, hey, listen, we've, we've been together for this long. I'm having his baby. Guess what? Her mom called her the same day she was going to do the interview to tell the world she was pregnant and the dad was Jay-Z. Her mom couldn't reach her. Her mom got a bad feeling, went over there. The girl was dead. Somebody had shot her. One bullet wound to the head. What does that tell you? So Kanye kept saying, Jay-Z, please don't send your goons to kill me. Kanye said that. So Kanye is aware that Jay-Z has goons who will handle that business if need be and put a number on their head. And the number ain't got to be that much because a lot of people look up to Jay-Z and respect him. And I see that a lot of people dropped out of this scope because y'all don't want to hear the truth. You ain't ready. So don't read my title and come to my scope thinking you finna come and say some stuff. And I ain't taking up for nobody. This ain't no idolatry. So for those of you who came to try to get on me for taking up for Kanye, that ain't what this is. But he's speaking truth. I said that to say this. The spirit of a higher. He says that he's going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh. That includes people like Kanye. And he's speaking the truth and he's not fearful. So a higher can use him the same way he used a donkey for Balaam. Balaam would not listen to God, to a higher. So he spoke through a donkey. Okay. So when people put him on the donkey list, the donkey wall, all the radio shows doing that. It's 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 right there in plain sight. It's telling you. So, Ahaya got humor, right? So he's like, I tell you what, I'm gonna take someone who a lot of people look up to. He 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 is famous, and a lot of people hardcore fans. And I'm gonna put the truth in his mouth. Let's see how you react. We bring judgment on ourselves when we react certain ways to when someone speaks truth so if you reject truth the bible says that you are someone you don't love the truth you would rather have your lie so he's going to give you over to a reprobate mind to believe the lies so that's why you ain't gonna believe nothing i'm saying Jews speaks of the people who can't believe the truth they can't believe the truth because the spirit of the truth is not inside of them 
So if your soul is perishing, you ain't going to be able to get no truth. You ain't going to be able to hear it even when you hear it. That's why the Bible says, blessed are those with ears to hear and eyes to see and a mind to understand. To be able to discern spiritual things, right? See, this world is not flesh against flesh or blood against blood. It ain't Kanye versus Jay-Z. This world is principalities, spirits, rulers, and authorities of the unseen world at war with each other. That's what we're seeing unfold. So let me tell you the backstory. Three weeks ago, I got a word from God and, and, and the word was to pay attention to hip hop and what's happening. And I'm gonna speak to you through that. So I saw this concert, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Jay-Z, DMX. I was like, whoa, yeah, that's, that's strange. You know, DJ Khalid. I was like, that's real strange. But them to come together, right? They act like they were squashing beef and we coming together. This unity, peace, East Coast, West Coast, down South, blah, 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 blah. Puff Daddy was there. It wasn't even all about that. See, the forces, the demonic forces are joining together so that they can uh, fight Yeshia when he returns. Lucifer actually thinks he has a chance to win. Exactly. Remember, I dreamed about Snoop, Taya. Remember? I told y'all to dream about Snoop. He was inside a cube machine sliding down the street real fast and he had blood pouring out of him so so seeing him be murdered like that and no one can help him means that snoop is on a path that's perishing now i i can't judge anyone's uh, eternal judgment and where they're going to spend eternity but i definitely can speak based on a person's fruits okay he, he sold out a long time ago when he started wearing fingernail polish on his nails and showing them to us and being proud of his manicures and his tips and the color he would get in the designs. People should have known something then when he started saying he was reborn and he was Snoop Lion. People should have known something then. But see, when you love the truth, that don't mean nothing to you. <laughs> this man had French tips on. Y'all see, but y'all don't see. You hear, but you don't hear. What what did you really hear Kanye saying? Of course, the media in the world go say he just ranting and he crazy. Don't y'all remember when Hurricane Katrina happened? He was the only one speaking up. He was the only one speaking what was real, and he said it. Bush don't give a damn about black folks. Bush hate niggas. He, he letting them die down there. He ain't trying to help them. He had inside information because of the levels that he had climbed in the industry. So he knew specific situations that were taking place at Hurricane Katrina. He knows specific situations taking place today and he knows what's about to unfold. And Kanye don't want no part of it. He pissed. And so in his mind, if I begin speaking out and expose it, then I'll be able to wash some blood off of my hands. He ain't stupid. And a how you can use and speak through anybody. Okay? So when you hear Snoop saying, man, this man high. This he this man did too much of this. Well, Snoop always high. Why you high so much? Exactly. You 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 high because that's your way of coping with all the dirt you done did. Kanye might be crazy, but Kanye speak truth. Ain't none of us perfect. But guess what? We able or capable of speaking the truth sometimes when, when our Father in Heaven decides to use us. So you bring judgment on yourself when you judge a man not based on his character and what he's saying, but you judge him based on assumptions and you following what everybody else saying. Discern for yourself. Sit down and listen to what he really said and dissect it and see if there's any truth in it. But see, we don't do that. We don't test nothing by the spirit. Whatever whatever float our boat, whatever fit with what we already think, that's what we roll with. Because we love the lie and we don't want the truth. So check this. Uh, background story. So Jay-Z, being that he's a Freemason, he's higher levels than Kanye is. If you go to the interview that Kanye did with, with the power station, Kanye, uh, the dude on the show, kept saying to him, you're not on your square. You're not on your square. Kanye was like, I am on my square. That's Masonic talk. 
That's cold talk for Masons to only understand when they're talking to other Masons. I grew up in families with Masons and Eastern Stars. And so it's very familiar to me. Okay. So for him to do this in front of people, you know what's about to happen to us is extreme. For him to say he support Trump, you know what's about to happen must be supreme, real extreme. See, white supremacy is very real. And now finally, white supremacy is honest and in the office. And it's nothing we can say or do about it. So for all the Christian black people who got on me for not going to vote and explaining why I did not vote, I don't have a dog in that race. Prince said the same thing. He made sense and he did. Tupac made sense. He did. See, we thought all of those people were crazy. We thought Michael Jackson was crazy. Michael Jackson said Tony, Tony Mulatto was the devil, that Sony was of the devil. We thought he was crazy. Now we understand what he was saying. See, y'all have to realize that the music industry is at war with Hebrew Israelites. The music industry is at war with African Americans. So that's why they weaponize hip hop and use it to shape behavioral patterns, ways of thinking, and the, a family structure. What is the family structure sold to us by hip hop? That the dude who a young book, because that's what they call men who slept with women to breed and have children for slavery. Okay? So when they started putting out... Uh, records for, with Young Buck and that name and Young So-and-So and Lil' So-and-So. That's, that's degrading you, black man. That's putting you down, black man. And Kanye now realizes the hatred that the people he has worked so hard for is set in meetings with have for him. Yeah, it's in scripture. I'm putting a whole teaching together with scripture for those of you who don't believe nothing but scripture, which is not a bad thing. I'm, I'm going to talk to you in your language and I'm going to use what the most high gave to us to communicate a truth and teach. And so as you realize this, you begin spiraling out of, out of control. And I like the fact that he's speaking the truth. I'm actually praying covering over him and praying healing over his mind from losing his mother. Because he really did know. He didn't know that he had sold his soul. He got on stage and said, I sold my soul. He was like, at least I got a happy meal that came with a, with a few surprises, with a few gifts. He said that on stage. Katy Perry said it. How you become successful? She said, I sold my soul to the devil. Bob Dylan said it. I sold my soul to the devil. Do y'all really think all these people saying this just because it sounds good or it's interesting? Or are you one of the people that think they're saying it because Illuminati really don't exist, but they're saying it to make themselves relevant? These people make a gang of money. They don't need to be made relevant. That, that's the weirdest thing for you to decide to say to be relevant. So that don't make sense. But as I said, if you don't have a mind to understand, ears to hear, and eyes to see, you will not see, hear, or understand anything that I'm saying to you. It sounds like another language. Right. Exactly, Ty. And so, purpose in this, so let me say this. Jay-Z is supposed to be paying for DMX to go to rehab. Now, I received a prophetic word that I was speaking of earlier, that this actually was DMX being propositioned the same way they propositioned T.I. after he got caught with all of those guns. The same way Tupac was propositioned. The same way Pimp C was propositioned. See, this ain't nothing new. The same way Easy e was propositioned. Dr. Dre was propositioned. Snoop was propositioned. Puffy was propositioned. Jay-Z was propositioned. Dame Dash was propositioned. And Dame Dash in the situation he in now because he didn't want to get down with the rituals of the elites. Okay? So this is why him and Jay-Z are on complete opposite ends. People look down on Dame Dash for it, but I look up to him for it. Because for you to be able to say no to money, no to riches through them, to me, that makes you a strong man. And I can respect him for that. Back to what I was saying. So when they put you in rehab, this is your last chance. Nigga, you go either do what we tell you to do. Or you know what's going to happen. And we're going to tell everybody that you did it to yourself. We're going to tell your whole family, your children. They're going to have to grow up knowing that daddy overdosed. Daddy murder blew his own brains out. Like like Mr. Brown from um, Soul Train. 
know that man didn't blow his own brains out. He had lived all of those years doing soul train, was very successful, had no reason to be so unhappy to blow out his brains. The whole situation was was just set up weird where you knew something else was going on. Y'all got to open y'all eyes, man, and learn how to see what you're seeing and don't question it. You can test it by the spirit, but don't doubt what you see. Just like we see unarmed black black men and women get shot. And the whole time we seeing it happen, what we be saying? He must have did something. Oh, well, see, see how he snatched his body right there? He shouldn't have did that. That's what got him shot. No. You see what you seeing. And it's murder. And it's not right. We got to learn how to speak the truth and not make, make any excuses for it and try to reason it to be something else, y'all. That's how we got in a situation we're in now because we don't keep it real. <laughs> I'm telling you. Man. So back to DMX. So if DMX don't accept what they're propositioning him, then we know how that's going to go, right? If he does... He's going to be a Britney Spears situation where they will simply reprogram his mind um, and get him on a schedule, have people around him to handle his money, um, have him do shows and put money in their pockets, um, use him to just brainwash the minds of many young people and even people our age. That's what they do. Okay. What, what do you think the ruling elite is there for? What spirit do you think controls the investment bankers and the people that own the world, own everything we eat, use, drink, wear, breathe, put in our car to drive, medication, everything you feel, touch, and see all day long belongs to Lucifer. So what spirit do you think exists in those people? So you all have to realize that in the very beginning, the serpent was against us. And so Nephilim, which are the fallen angels and their hybrid children, they are ruling now from behind the scenes. Exactly. Surely not the Holy Spirit. It's the unholy trinity that's ruling. And it has to go this way. So that Babylon can be destroyed once and for all. And so that a new heaven and new earth will be created. And guess what? Black people will not be last. We will become first. As scripture said that we would. And it also says that we would no longer be slaves. That would never happen to us again. But we would actually have slaves under us. People working for us of other races. That's in scripture. And... As this is happening, we're going to see more and more celebrities ranting, okay? Lady Gaga had a rant last year, and she talked about how the Illuminati was controlling her. Yeah. What's up, been on a journey? Yeah, so the Nephilim spirit, Nephilim, these, these are the fallen angels who followed Lucifer when he got kicked out of heaven. And so those fallen angels, which are spoken of in Genesis 6, had children, and those children came out as giants. Good morning, been on the journey. Those children came out as giants, right? So, so God, the Most High, His children were um, sent into their land, to the Canaanite land, the land of milk and honey, to destroy and kill all of the giants and take their land. Right? So in, in scripture, it talks about this. And in Deuteronomy chapter 4, just in the days of Noah, that's right on fire. I'm making sure I follow y'all. So from as in the days of Noah, it's happening today. Scripture said that it, history would repeat itself. So the fallen angels, they're not just walking the earth how they were back then. Right now, they're ruling from behind the scenes, but they're in Trump, they're in the bushes, they're in the Council of 13 that we don't never see. The people that meet at the um, G summits every year, they're there. This is who ruled the world, the United Nations. It's, this is who is being ruled by, Satan and the angels that followed him. Yeah, exactly. So they're getting ready to reincarnate. 
Uh, and I really believe that they're going to use machines to reincarnate uh, transhumanism um, because that's the way to reincarnate. You know, they never do exactly what they did the first time. The first time they got women pregnant, like me and you got us pregnant, had children with us, and that went really wrong. And the Most High ended up making them fight their own children. They went into battle with the giants against the fallen angels. This is what we call the Titans or the War of the Titans. That's not a myth that actually happened. Atlantis was where they lived. That was a very real thing. And it flooded during the flood, okay? That's why Atlantis is now underwater, okay? We're headed back in that direction, except he gave us a rainbow, which promised us he would not do it by water, but he would do it by fire. That's right. The earth came to rid of them. So, y'all, when Kanye started saying this stuff, it's because it's the spirit that's rising up in him because we're going through an awakening, okay? And so we're going to see more and more people, especially black men, saying, you know what? Forget this. I ain't scared no more and I'm finna speak the truth. So for those of you who are seeking record deals that would like to be artists and would like to be famous, I advise you to know exactly what you're dealing with and to make your decision accordingly. But know that no one gets in the industry without a blood sacrifice. And if you go a few years without a blood sacrifice, you better believe that that sacrifice is going to happen eventually. Exactly. Yeah. The awakening is happening. And, and it's sad because a lot of athletes and stuff, they get these contracts, go to the NBA, NFL, and then a week later, they mama dead, they daddy dead. Look at the Jennifer Hudson situation. See, this is the elemental spirits. They have a system, okay? And just because we don't know that system and we don't operate within that system doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It does. Exactly. And I used to, I used to be in the industry, you know. I, I've had a few record deals. And he delivered me from that. I, I had no clue what I was getting into. I had a few weird experiences and I realized it exactly. And so I came out of it. I'll say this. Um, also, I want to say this. Um, so y'all be praying for Kanye and DMX. Lift both of them up. Those are two men that I know will speak the truth and don't care what nobody say or feel about it. And we need men like that. The scripture says that friends of the world are enemies of God. That's right. Blood is the currency in the spirit world. Which is why Cain killed Abel. Cain was under a spirit that was commanding blood. And the way they speak to you is through your own thoughts. And so Cain was just so envious of his brother that it was easy for the enemy to use him to murder his brother. And what happened? His blood cried out. Blood actually makes a sound. Blood has a voice. Blood has a life force. It is life force. That's right. They feed you through thoughts. Yeah. So for those of you who came to my scope and thought y'all was going to say something, y'all came to the wrong scope because you would definitely get enlightened when you come here. And um, we're not going to be rude to each other or nasty. We're going to be positive and, you know, vibrate love. And um, so let me update you all on some stuff. Um, a lot of Christians told me that using um, crystals was of the devil. So if you happen to go on a vacation... You step on a crystal, you think it's beautiful, you bring it home. They're like, get that out of your house, it's other devil. And I always loved crystals. They were so beautiful. And that's not true. It was nothing in scripture that says that. And, and you know, they'll even say that reading the stars is of the devil. And it, yes, it can be used that way. Anything can be used as a medium for evil or good. But I have to say this. Yeshia told us to pay attention to the moon, the sun, and the stars. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, Mac Conception, a trip. So, 
Um, we're going to talk more about that too. I'm working on a PDF for that too. Um, so I wanted to say, I have been wanting to get some crystals. And crystals, what they, they just vibrate the same way that your body vibrates. The frequency of crystals is a, a vibration, that of love and just positivity. That's all it really is, is frequencies and vibrations, okay? A higher created crystals. So it's all right. It's not like you're worshiping them. The same people that tell you something wrong with that are the same people that are worshiping the sun god and won't even acknowledge it. But anyway, so after the bed, a, a, a negative entity, a demon, pushed my daughter's bed off the wall and it bust my head open and I had blood running everywhere, y'all. It took two days for me to stop the bleeding completely. I felt it happening and I heard the Holy Spirit tell me to turn around. I turned around in the nick of time. It still, it still busted my head, but if I wouldn't have turned around, it probably would have killed me, okay, instantly. So it really pays to be able to hear his voice and know his voice. And that's how you know whose sheep you belong to, whether you're sheep or whether you're goat, okay? But anyway, so I said, Father, you know, I know I can walk through my house and feel negative ener energy in the house and I can pray and get rid of it. But is there any other way? I'd just like to know. He said, yeah, it, your body is made of water, right? And, and your body picks up on negative energy. That's right. That's right. So I came across a, a video of another young lady and she took a glass of water. She put about that much salt in it, sea salt, and she put about that much vinegar in it and poured some more water in there. And that's right. It's the same as salt. That's right. And so you take the, a glass, get a regular smooth glass. I'm going to show you my glass. You get a regular smooth glass. Put a little bit of salt, a little bit of white vinegar, or apple cider vinegar, if that's what you have. And you sit it in a room in the house and leave it for 24 hours. Don't touch it. Don't move it. If when you return to the glass, if the, if the water has been changed in any way, if the water has bubbles in it, if the water has turned a different color, if the salt at the bottom is a different color, just like the rice experiment, you know when you take the rice and use different containers? And you have one container with good words, holy words, and you have another container with bad, negative words. And people find that the rice has mold and stuff on it and turns colors with the negative words. But the rice with the good words and stuff on it, it looks the same. Have you all heard about that? Okay, yeah. So, yeah, they say that, but it's not true. I use salt to keep snails out the house, right? And, and so that's not witchcraft. You know, what witchcraft is when you go to church on Sunday and you allow a seducing spirit and a doctrine of demon to indoctrinate you into idolatry. That's witchcraft. You see, the enemy is very cunning and he has used Christianity to steer us away from the very things that can be used as tools to identify him and his devices. And scripture says that we should be aware of the enemy's devices. We should not be ignorant to his devices. So anything that will expose evil is of good. It's of light and not darkness. So using salt and putting it in some water to see if anything is negative in the house that affects it in a negative way, it's not a bad thing. Scripture says that salt, that's right, that's right. Scripture says that salt, we are the salt of the earth. That's not witchcraft. So if me and you are salt of the earth, and if our body is made of mostly water, then me putting a little salt in some water and seeing if it's disturbed in any way is basically like my body, right? It, it's so simple. Yeah. So I took the glass. I put it in my daughter's room because that's where the incident took place. Look at, I'm going to show you the glass, okay? Look at that. Y'all see the bubbles? It's full of bubbles. And there's one area that doesn't have any bubbles. And I'm going to show you that one area. 
that doesn't have bubbles. I'm going to see. Hopefully, my phone will pick it up. Right here. This area right here, it doesn't hardly have any bubbles in it. And right up at the top, this area was up against her wall in the corner. So that's why there aren't any bubbles on that area. But if you look at the bottom down here, it's one dark spot. You see that dark spot right there? That shouldn't be there. I didn't put anything in here but salt, vinegar, and water. That shouldn't be in there. So this glass proves that it was a negative vibration in the house. And vibration caused bubbles. That's all this is. It's not witchcraft of any kind. Um, it's just taking a vessel that's made up of what your body is made up of and seeing if anything affects the vessel in a negative manner. And so vibrations make bubbles. And not good vibrations. You're supposed to find your glass completely undisturbed. So I'm going to pour this out after you do this if you want. And you can pray on it and, you know, ask the Father, Father, is it okay if I... Put some salt and some water and just, you know, check the house and make sure there's no negative energy in the house. Clear vinegar. Uh-huh. Clear vinegar. And you can also use apple cider vinegar. Um, when you get through doing it, just leave the glass for 24 hours. Uh, when you finish, just pour it down the toilet when you get through. And um, after you pour the glass down the toilet, you can redo it again in a different room in the house if you want to. So I'm going to pour this out when I finish this scope down the toilet. Rinse the glass out, and I'm going to do it in my room, in the living room, each room in the house. But any room in the house that has a lot of visitors, that's usually going to be the room where there's a lot of different energies. Because when people come over your house and you don't know what thoughts they've been having, it can leave a, a residual energy in the house that's not of a higher. Yeah, I don't know much about the Tibetan bowls. Um, I do know that the Tibetan culture has a lot of things that are um, 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 sorcery or worship of elemental spirits like air, uh, learning to control their chi, their life force energy and use it to produce heat. Um, they have a lot of things like that that I've studied. So I would be careful with any Tibetan teachings or Tibetan practices. Um, but the way that you know is by comparing it to scripture. Yes, trapped oxygen does cause bubbles, um, but vibrations cause bubbles also. And so this glass is simply a way uh, to pick up disturbance in your atmosphere, uh, vibrations that are vibrating a negative frequency. Um, and you can look at um, um, somatics and see how sound affects water. There are a lot of those videos on YouTube. I used to do it myself at home all the time. So this is a very valid way to detect negative energy, negative vibrations. So if you, you know, if you all want to check your house and see if you got some negative vibrations, just take one third salt, um, about one third white vinegar or apple cider vinegar and the rest of it water in a glass and leave it for 24 hours. And if it changes color, so if it's got bubbles in it, you know, it's some negative energy in the house. Um, yeah, exactly. So me and my husband, we prayed tonight. You know, this just gave us even more reason to pray and to warfare. And so we had specific prayers we could pray because we're informed, you know. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to try to um, jump on here so you all can see it. Because I, I just want you all to go through this journey with me and, and, and experience these things through me, you know. Um, and, and learn through each other and from each other. But what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to do the bay leaves, just burn some bay leaves in the house. And, and that just helps to clear everything. It has a very aromatherapy thing happen, just like lavender, using lavender oil. So we're going to do that in the house. And so I'm going to try to put it on here and I'm going to let you all know how it feels in the house and how it affects me. Oh, so let me let me just jump on for the people jumping on. Thank you so much for jumping in my scope. We vibrate love and positivity and lift up the most high a higher here. We talk about everything. Nobody is going to call each other names. We're not ugly to each other here, but we're honest and truthful. And we're here to help each other learn in this journey called life. For those of you who just jumped on, I talked about Kanye. I suggest you all rewind the video. 
uh, and go back to the beginning and you're probably going to be pretty, pretty shocked at what you hear me say about Kanye. Um, but crazy he may be. Does he make sense? Definitely. Is he speaking truth? For sure. Why is it happening? Well, the veil is standing. So all of the hidden things are now becoming clear to be seen to all. So no one will have no reason to be in deception. Our creator, the Most High, is going to be like, look, now I even let Kanye, somebody who has carried themselves like a damn fool, tell you and you still don't believe it. You know? Mm, see, that's right. Yeah, you know, another thing, I had a black cat. I don't believe in stuff like that, but whenever you see black cats hanging around the house, spirits do like to use animals to inhabit them, to eavesdrop on you. And um, yeah, and so if you see black cats or animals just lurking around the house and it looks strange, a lot of times it is, and you can rebuke that and cast that down too and let them know that they do not have a right to be um, in your abode because your abode is ruled by Christ. Yeah, and light and darkness cannot exist in the same place. But yeah, incense are great. I use incense. Yeah, they, they use white cats too. They use brown cats, black and white. Whatever cat they can get in, they'll use it, right? Um. Oh, and I wanted to say this too, but yeah, I got some incense now. I use, I use incense. Frankincense, myrrh, that's okay. It's in scripture. You know, essential oils, it's not, it's, that's not sorcery. Um, the pharmaceutical company is sorcery. <laughs> so for those Christians who would probably frown on what I've done that take medications, well, pharma pharmaceutical company is sorcery and it's being performed on you, you know? So it's just, um, we just have to enlighten ourselves and learn. Oh, I wanted to say I've been taking the tonic every day. I made a lymphatic cleansing detoxing tonic uh, to help decalcify my pineal gland, heal my body, and help with the symptoms of sickle cell. And the only thing that I have noticed, I have more energy, but I do have gas. My stomach aches, and I'm using the bathroom a lot more. Uh, so for those of you who wanted a little update to know how that was doing, everybody said it looked like doo-doo when I was cooking it. If you didn't see that, go back and check that periscope out. I showed you how to mix the herbs and how to cook them and drain the water off of it. Um, if you do it and it's very concentrated, it's not called an infusion. It's called a decoction because of how concentrated it is. That's how I made mine. What's up, Black King? How you doing, brother? What's your what's your what's your real name, brother? Yeah, yeah, you missed that one on fire. You gotta check that one out. It was pretty interesting. I tell you, it did look pretty gross, but hey, it's helping me. And scripture says, you know, that herbs are to be healing to the nations. That's right, it does. Yes, it does. Oh, thank you, favorite passion. That's awesome. I'm enjoying the fact that you are here and are enjoying me. I, I, man, I'm on here to just for real positivity, love. You can see it in the person's eyes, right? The eyes are the window to the soul. Yeah, so you can you can see what's really in the person when you look. But uh, I just wanted to say real quick too. I'm putting together the PDFs and everything that I promised. I'm putting together the videos um, so you all can study with me and go and download it and, and read it and study on your own time. I'm putting that together, um, you know, and I, I also wanted to say I'm in the process of praying and asking a higher to give me a name. I would like to have a name for my family. You all are my family. Those who live to be obedient and to learn the truth and come out of, come out of deception, you all are my family. And so, um, yeah, so I want to make sure I get a name for our group. So I will be um, letting you know when I get confirmation on a name for us. And um, you can contact me. My email is cam2479. Oh, okay, awesome. Well, favorite passion, I'll definitely be contacting you. Um, just e in inbox me your email. My email is cam, K-H-A-M, 2479 at gmail.com. Okay, La King and favorite passion. Inbox me your email and I'll get my essential oils from you. That's what we're all about is being a community and helping each other. And y'all, real soon, we're not going to have Walmarts and stuff to depend on. And we're going to have to use the barter system. And so it's a really good thing for us to have this camaraderie here with each other and getting to know each other. Oh, okay, cool. Let me screenshot that.
I think I caught it. Yep. Yeah, okay. I think I caught it. Thank you. Oh, and uh, who who else is on here that I had? Did I not address anybody? I try to make sure I shout out everybody to jump in here because I appreciate you. Somebody had asked me a question. Oh, yeah, you said you got a Geneva Bible. That's what's up. I'm actually looking to get a 1611 Bible. Um, it's just that, that with the Mandela Effect stuff, y'all, that is word ma magic, Enochian word magic they're doing on the scriptures. They're changing some scriptures. Um, but it's okay. It's not going to matter because we have the scripture wrote on our minds and hearts, even if you don't have it memorized. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so if you don't have scripture memorized, don't worry about it. He wrote the word on our minds and hearts. Those are the stony tablets, right? Because our hearts were hard against him. So we have the scripture written on our minds and hearts. So it doesn't matter what the ruling elite of this world who are magicians and, and wizards and druids and sorcerers and they're attempting to alter and change scripture have been doing it since scripture existed. So let that not cause you to feel any type of way, okay? And so we're going to be studying scripture together. I'm going to have scriptures for you all to read and, and, and study on your own time um for right now i'm going to give you all the book of jude please go and read the book of jude as soon as you get free time pull it up on your phone and it, you can actually download the app and the app will read it to you while you're working or cooking or whatever you're doing um so check out jude one that's what i've been reading and on and read deuteronomy four the purpose in doing this is to learn how to teach yourself how to hear and understand scripture and you and not needing a man or a pastor to explain it to you you have the holy spirit you have the spirit of truth inside of you when you first believed the holy spirit came upon you and so we must work that muscle to learn how to interpret and discern that's right that's what's happening in the churches jew and deuteronomy for it that's right and so that's why um hey christine you back so that's why i told y'all to go check out those two books oh and if you all missed it, I gave you all a quick and easy way to detect negative energy in your house. Um, just take a glass and put some white vinegar in it and some salt at the bottom of the glass and add some more water. Put it in a room in the house. Leave it there for 24 hours. If it changes colors or has bubbles in it, that means there are negative vibrational energies in your house. And you need to pray that they be removed. Okay? It, this is not witchcraft. This is not no type of magic or sorcery, what I'm telling you. Um, your body is made out of water, mostly water. Um, the scripture says that we're salt of the earth. And so all you're doing is making a vessel that's made up the way your body is made up. Sometimes we can't pick up on energy because our minds are so busy. We're working, we're paying bills, going to school, raising families, and we're just not thinking about it all the time. So this is an easy way to detect negative energy in your house, okay? And if you have negative energy in the house, pray and remove it, okay? It's just that simple. What's up, girl? What, what was you saying, sister? You asked me about the Pope. Oh, yeah, okay, the Pope. Well, let me say this real quick. You know, I could talk to y'all all night. And for those of you who jumped in and wanted to hear about Kanye, you're going to have to rewind this giant when we get through and listen to that because I gave some really dope information, some inside information and some revelation. And I broke down some of the stuff he said and why he said it and explained the spiritual reasons behind it. So I think you'll find that interesting. But about the Pope, the Pope right now, uh, he is the whore of Babylon. Um, the Pope is also operating as the false prophet. Recently, he has come out talking about about aliens and how um, he welcomes the aliens whenever the extraterrestrials get ready to come to earth and show themselves that they can have a home there um, with him um, at the Catholic Church. Um, he has come out and talked about homosexuality and basically people should be free to marry whoever they want to marry. Uh, he, he has said many things that has fulfilled scripture and that has fulfilled the Antichrist and who he is. So know that the Catholic Church is Rome, the Roman Empire, and that is the empire in which rides the beast okay the beast is the government so we're seeing religion and government come together as one to create the new world order and he's been used to do so yes Aaliyah, good question i'm glad you asked so i offer my brain to just be picked by y'all 
and whatever you need to know or want to understand I'm, I'm offering myself to you all to help you all weed through this thing called life it's so much deception you really don't know who to believe or what to believe and so here I can give you resources things to go read yourself and put you on the right trail to truth so you don't get deceived and you know when Yeshia gets ready to come back we don't want to be caught off guard and caught you know in ignorance ignorance is not bliss ignorance will lead you to hell and so we we don't want that you know uh, i had two visions of of hell and i had two near-death experiences where i where i flatline in the hospital during surgery and so you can go to my youtube channel and check that out uh, my youtube channel is under my name camson and you can check out the vision of hell and the vision of heaven that i had that's right sundays are not the sabbath day that's right they are rebellion against him that's right Sunday is the day to worship the sun god okay sometimes he's called amen Ra, which is why Christianity says amen there's a lot of Egyptology and Babylonian teachings in Christianity it's kind of a mashup of many different things it was created to enslave people uh, and now that the awakening is happening now that the spirit is being poured out upon all flesh is spoken of in scripture we are waking up to this we're noticing the things that do not make sense we're noticing the things that not that are not of the most high and that's why you are here on my scope yeah definitely please hop on here we got a little family we build in here i'm actually finna come up with a name and get a website together so you all can have some inside information and 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 somewhere to come to where you feel like you can at least trust you know some of the information at least until you research it yourself and come to your own conclusion yeah that's what's up i love y'all man I just want to encourage y'all. I don't know what y'all may be going through in y'all life or dealing with. Um, but know this. When you start listening to conversations, teachings, and, and people like me. Um, and, and when we start just vibing with each other. Know that negative forces around you are going to start rising against you. Okay. Oh, that's good. I love the Blue Letter app. I got that too. So don't don't think that it's strange after you watch my scope and all of a sudden crazy stuff start popping off around you at school, your family, people going off on you. It's it's just demonic spirits trying to um, you know, distract you with drama and get you all angry and upset and sad so that you're not on the frequency of truth. That way you ain't going to be looking for it because you're going through so much and you're stressed out. And so that's how they keep us habitable beings for them to use and be in and possess. And you do not want them to be able to use your body for their will. You want your body to be used for Ahaya and his will. And for those of you who don't know, before I get off here, I just want to say this. I'm praying for you. You all continue praying for me and my family. Um, know that when you get on this journey, there are going to be many, many afflictions. You know, righteous people are inflicted with many afflictions. That's scripture. And so when things are never going wrong, that's when you should be worried, okay? When you are a threat to the enemy and the world that we are living in, you go through some stuff. So don't let it discourage you. We are all going through something. You know, there are some people who will wake up in a few weeks and be told they have cancer. But that doesn't change anything. That doesn't change who you are. That doesn't change your purpose in life. You continue in that. No matter what report you get, no matter what's going on, that's what faith is. We walk by faith. We do not walk by sight. So yes, the paper may say this, you know, but I'm walking by my faith. And and I, I believe that I'll be healed. I, I'll believe that I'm I'm delivered. I believe that I'll be okay. I believe that Ahaya loves me and he's gonna take care of me. If you keep vibrating that and having those thoughts, you will begin to repel evil away from you. You know? And you'll begin attracting people who are of light to you. And that's what you want to do. Because the days are going to get darker. The days are going to get more wicked. And now that we have a Freemason who is openly racist in the White House, we're about to see manifestations of things we couldn't see when Obama was in. I want to say this. I dreamed that Trump was assassinated, but the assassination was not successful. There is a possibility that Trump may not take office. There is a possibility that martial law will take place before he gets in office. And based on the executive order that 
Obama signed a few years ago, he was still reign as president. Okay, um, but that's as still that doesn't change anything because at the end of the day, the fallen angels and Lucifer are the ones who make the decisions in this world, are the ones who do legislation, who create the laws, along with the false prophet, the Catholic Church, that's the beast, and who the whore of Babylon is. She is the mother of all harlots. So voting is not going to change prophecy. Voting will not change the direction we're going in. I'm not being pessimistic. I'm being honest and realistic and using facts and truths in which you can research on your own and see historically what I'm saying is accurate. And so we have to learn how to exist in reality and still have faith in what we believe regardless to what we see. Does that make sense? I hope that I hope that made sense. <laughs> kind of sounded poetic, huh? <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's what's up. So, um, yeah, so you all do, you know, do the glass thing. And when we jump back on here, let me know how your glass came back. If it come back like mine did, just pray. You you have authority in the name of Yeshia over everything, over everything, okay? And so just operate in that, practice that, okay? We don't need to have pastors to deliver us from demons or sickness or depression, suicidal thoughts, whatever it is, we can deliver ourselves. There is self-deliverance. <clears throat> and for those of you who are interested and would like to do self-deliverance, I have a video on my YouTube page for self-deliverance, okay? And the self oh, that's so sweet. That's because you connected to the energy, to the light. The light, of, the light of Christ is very attractive and magnetic. Yeah. And the spirit of truth, man, it just draw you in. Um, but <clears throat> go to my YouTube and check out the video on deliverance. I made it so simple. It took me years to put it together. But I took my time. I was patient and I did it. It's 14 steps to self-deliverance. You don't have to go and find somebody to deliver you. Okay? Yeah, that's right. That's right. And this is why we have to learn how to deliver ourselves and pray for our families and our children and deliver them and heal them. The scripture says that these signs will follow those that believe in me, that they will be able to cast out demons and heal the sick take poison into their bodies and not die. So for those of you who are taking medications like I have to, know that you will not die as a result of that because you are a believer and these are the signs that follow you. So we need to start practicing. <clears throat> Practice scripture, okay? I love you all. I'm going to get off here now. My baby's sleeping. So when you have a baby, you don't get a whole lot of sleep. You have to sleep when they sleep. Because that's about the only time you'll get it. <clears throat> oh, and I'm also going to do a video. Definitely favorite passion. Thank you so much for reminding me of that. That's right. I pray over mine too. That's right. I was going to say, um, I'm also going to do a video and talk about natural things you can use to heal things like the flu and the common cold. Don't let me forget to do that video, y'all. Whenever I jump back on and do a scope, all you got to do is ask. Cam, when are you going to do the video and tell us some of the herbs you use to heal you and your family? Because we, we try to eliminate all medication in the house if possible. And so we use more herbs than anything. And I have to share that with you all. Um, but before I get off here, I just feel led in the spirit to at least share one thing with you all. You can go to iherb.com, I-H-E-R-B.com. And order oil of oregano, okay? The the bottle that I order is 80% car carvacol. And you could just, when you scroll down there, <clears throat> it's not a lot of them. It comes in a little bottle with a um, squeeze dispenser on the top of it. You put some water in your mouth. Because I'm getting, I'm getting an upper respiratory infection, a cold, and everybody in my house is getting it. It's just that time of year. And with them spraying chemtrails and the heavy metals and the toxicity, it is going to cause colds and flu. Okay? You don't have to take a flu shot. But get some oil of oregano. You can order from the website I gave. And it comes in with a dropper. Hold water in your mouth. Drop it in your mouth about point. Five milliliters is about all it takes. Do that two or three times in a day. 
After two days of doing that, your flu or your cold will be completely gone. I promise you. So many people put out stuff saying this will cure this, this will do this. You see this on Dr. Oz, but a lot of that stuff is for money. I'm going to tell y'all what really works because I use it. And when I get back on here and do that video, I'm going to show you all the bottle for those of you who would like to order the exact one I have. Okay, so let's pray. Father, we just thank you. We just thank you. Thank you for watching over us, protecting us, allowing us to make it home from school, work, and or make it to school or to work, and just keeping us and our loved ones safe. We ask that you forgive us of our sins, Father, anything that was displeasing to you. And not only do we ask forgiveness, Father, but we are turning away from it. So after this prayer, our intention and will will be set to not do that again. And so we thank you for your mercy because your mercies are anew, afresh every morning. And that is your love and your grace that you have for us. Thank you for giving us the things we do not deserve. That's your grace. But we thank you for withholding the things that we do deserve. That's your mercy. And we deserve the ultimate punishment. But you gave your only begotten son. For whosoever will believe will not perish but have everlasting life. We thank you for giving your only son. That is hard. And that proves your love for us. And I ask in agreement with everyone here that you help all of us to be able to be obedient and pleasing to you and loving your word says that if we love you, we'll obey you. So obedience are the hugs and, and the kisses that we can give you. I ask that anything that is hindering the people on this scope from communicating with you, being able to hear your voice, I ask that you remove that. Anybody in their life that are being anchors to them, that you remove them, expose it, but give them peace about it through, through it all. Your word says you'll give us peace that surpasses all understanding. I lift them up to you for anything they're going through or anything they're about to enter. Any trial or tribulation that you give them strength to get through it. That you increase their measure of faith. Your word says that when we accepted you as our savior, you gave us a measure of faith. And faith the size of a mustard seed can move mountains. We All we have to do is speak to the mountain. I pray that that faith, Father, be stirred up in them. Your word says that when the Holy Spirit come upon us, we shall have power. So thank you. Thank you for giving us your Son and the Holy Spirit so that we can have power. So that we will have signs that show that we are believers. That we will cast out demons and heal the sick and take poisons into our bodies and not die. We thank you. We hollow your name. Thank you for teaching us your name. Thank you for letting us know that we have been deceived and that your true name is Ahia. And that your son's name is not Jesus. His name is Yeshia. It's just Savior. It's the Hebrew word for savior. Everything in you is simplicity, but man has made it complicated. So I thank you for sending them to me. Thank you for putting in me something that can be helpful for them. For your words is out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. And I pray that living water continue to flow out of me, that it strengthens them so that they can go out and spread the gospel so that they can go out and change the world with love. Walk in truth and honesty and be the light that we need in this dark time. That we be the salt of the earth. Salt preserves, Father. So you use us to preserve. I thank you for that. Anybody dealing with sickness, anybody dealing with divorce right now, anybody dealing with problems with their family, arguments, fights, anybody dealing with financial oppression, Father, I just lift them up to you and I pray that they receive a breakthrough, a real breakthrough and anything that is demonic and anything that is allowing Satan to come in, any doors that are open, that you reveal it to them and that they be closed. That includes relationships with people, items in your house, whatever it may be, Father, that you expose it so that they can close that door and be 
be 100% used by you. Any devices of the enemy, we pray that they be uncovered and no longer be secret. For those who are struggling with leaving the church, Father, I ask that you just give them clarity, speak to them, give them direction and guidance. Your word says that you are the light that lights the pathway of our feet to show us which way to walk. Your word says that it is a very narrow road to heaven, but the road to hell is wide. So I pray encouragement over them to continue on the narrow path, that they will not be popular, that they will not be people's favorite, they will not be a friend of the world, but guess what? They will not be your enemy because your word says if we are friends of the world, we are enemies of you. So I pray contentment over them in whatever situation they are in, that they're able to trust you. And if they are experiencing any form of fear or anxiety, that they be delivered from that. For your word says you take care of the sparrows and they don't plant any food, yet they have something to eat through the winter. What more would you do for us? So we give you all the glory and all the praise for you are worthy. Your son, we thank you. Thank you for dying for us and pleading on our behalf at a highest right side all day, every day. For our righteousness is only through you. That we cannot be made righteous, made clean, made pure by the law, but through you. But that it is beneficial for us to walk in your ways, obey your statutes and commandments, and acknowledge your laws. And to put away pagan holidays. And to begin learning the holy days. To begin worshiping on the Sabbath. The Sabbath is supposed to be the day of rest, Father. And, and, and that day begins Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. So we thank you for teaching us that simple thing, Father. And many of us are coming out of the church or in the process of doing so. We need fellowship. We, we need to be able to encourage each other. And we thank you for this meeting place. I pray that you preserve this meeting place. Even if the power go out somehow, we will have a way to gather and communicate with each other. Prayers of the righteous availeth much and they do not return void. So we believe that this will not return void and that where two or three gather and touch and agree, you are in the midst and it shall be done. And we are two or three and so we claim it is done. We thank you. We ask that you keep us safe. Cover us in the blood of your son, your shire, from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet and our loved ones. That you keep us until we meet again. It is so. It is so. All right, so I don't say amen anymore. You can pray and it's up to you. I just say it is so or let it be or thank you, Father, um, simply because amen has so many connections to amen Ra, which is an Egyptian deity. And so I don't want anything that um, I'm not knowledgeable about to be a part of my prayer. Um, if you're saying amen, you want to be sure that that amen is exactly what you were told it was. And if it isn't, it's okay to not say it. Okay? Yes, you do. But you are learning so fast, Taya. And, and the, he is speaking to you even as you sleep. And for those of us who haven't been dreaming or can't remember dreams, just ask for it. Just ask for the gift. Ask for it to not be blocked. And you will begin to have dreams and visions too because it's part of living in the end times. It's a blessing to live in this time. Um, and we help other people, you know. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so, yes, you all have a lot to learn. I still have a lot to learn. But guess what? If we're helping each other, we're going to run the race. And we're going to finish this race. And we're going to finish it just fine. <laughs> okay. Bye, y'all. Good night. Good night, my loves. Peace and blessings. Shalom. <laughs>